All right, very welcome to this small episode of Off to Seven Thousand Island. That is not a regular episode, which is coming out every Tuesday in English. So this one is just an update and some thoughts and. Maybe it's helpful for you if you live in the Philippines on how to watch the FIFA World Cup, so the soccer, that soccer or football World Cup in Qatar here in the Philippines. My name is Eric and we're gonna talk in the first half of this video about the streaming services who are available and how much are they cost. And in the second part I have also a few thoughts on how or if we should watch or should we spend money on it or should we watch it in the first place. But first let's get into it. How can you stream it here in the Philippines? And I recorded a small short part on my laptop sorry for the bad audio quality that it's not a good microphone and also it's just a typhoon is blowing by and there is quite some wind around here and some background noises will be heard i don't have an external microphone yet but hopefully you will still understand it. but before we show you that quickly what you can stream here in the philippines of course the easiest version is to stream over a VPN in a country where it's actually for free. The BBC, for example, you only need to register with the BBC I player and you can watch it for free, for example, if you have uh, a VPN who has a server in the UK. I will stream over a VPN who is registered in German, in Germany, so I can watch for free the, the German in the German TV. In case you want to watch it uh, in German, you can of course uh, look up the German video for this video here and I describe it a bit closer. Let's get into the what you can actually stream here in the Philippines and what are the partners. All right, and you basically have two options to book here. And for once it is Sky. And with Sky, if you have already Sky at home, then that's quite practical, but we don't have a TV here, so for us, not really valuable. So it is, but you get the all access pass, so everything what you, all the games and all the coverage, all the interviews the FIFA does themselves, you get, and you have the early bird access. That's 1,500 pesos until the 31st of October, or you get 2,000. Pesos, and then you have everything. But the version which is probably more sought after is the Tap Go TV version, where you can stream it on any device you want, and they have exactly the same. So it's a thousand five hundred until the thirty first of October, or then a thousand, a two thousand pesos from the from November, beginning of November. And you can buy it here, you just click on it, fill it everything out. You can pay with Gcash, Grab, credit card, all the kinds of payment methods, and you can make it as a voucher as well. That's no problem. And probably what people use. Tap to go works quite well. We have used that before for basketball every now and then, but uh, so it is it works here well in the Philippines. Yeah, you have seen what options you got. If you found it informative or helpful this video or just uh, good to watch, then please leave it a thumbs up here in this video. That is really much appreciated. But now for the second part of this video, I want to talk about the ethical implication of watching or having the world championships in Qatar. And basically it's, it's, yeah, it's in Qatar. Qatar has built stadiums basically with slave labor, even from the Philippines as well. There's workers from the Philippines there as well, who work in very bad conditions. And they're also not a democracy, which are two big points of where we need to wonder if we actually want to support this country hosting big events. One problem, of course, is all the TV rights are already paid for. So Tap Go and 
you know, in the US, Fox and all these other things, they have already paid for those rights. So it's already basically decided. And if you watch it or not, will not make a big difference. Of course, TV places will notice if you are watched or not, but in the end, it will not make a big difference. But what I wish from the Western government would be that we not go to these events, that we send not our teams to events in countries which we are not supporting morally. We have no common ground morally as Western countries between us and Qatar. And Qatar is not respecting human rights, is not respecting any democracy. Is, uh, I mean, do you need to say more? And this is a bit of a problem. So I have decided, okay, I watch it a little bit over VPN because I not want to spend money on it, extra money on it. But I watch it over VPN in German. Uh, some of the games from Germany, from England, that's my favorite teams. And I will see how far they get, if they get far. Of course, I feel like I also want to watch some sport. And in a way, it's nice to have our teams there and fighting and you know this this is also quite nice but it is of course what the western countries should do is actually not send our teams and then rather spending the money on all those tv rights and all this kind of crap spend it on the public sports sector build swimming pools build soccer stadiums build your know, training facilities and all this kind of stuff. And that would also put the FIFA under pressure because of course they earn money besides corruption, they earn money with the TV rights. And if we are not as a, for example, if Germany or the US or the UK is not sending their teams, then those people will not watch as much. And that again will cut the would make a big difference i think and that's a bit of a shame but i try to find a middle ground also with other events like olympic games or the handball world championships which was also in qatar and those kind of stuff or athletic events this is it's a tricky bit i mean we don't have much time here in the philippines anyway so we won't watch all the stuff but it's nice to watch a few games. I'm not a huge soccer fan, but there is, uh, when it's the World Championship or European Championship, I like to watch it actually. So there's some consideration, but definitely as a Christian, we can pray that there will be actually change in the FIFA, which is super corrupt. Ooh, and there's also <laughs> super much so much wind right now and of course we can also pray that those countries and uh, and christian in those countries can make a difference in qatar as well and that maybe some of the human rights can actually be implemented for everyone there not just for the rich well thank you for watching it's a bit of a sad note in the end here but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, comment it down below. And we see you in the next video.